All right, I was back in a little work on the garage today and I decided to dive back into the X2 Mini Mill CNC conversion project. Um, I was having a hard time getting this old Xbox controller to work, but I finally got it to work on this old XP machine. It was a matter of installing uh, DirectX. Uh, DirectX 9 and or DirectX 10 would do the trick. Now that it's all installed, uh, you, all you have to do to configure this is go to your Mark, th Mark 3, go over to configure, Come down to configure plugins, and then right here, make sure that it checks off the box that it's enabled, and you click on configure. And this is really self-explanatory how it all works. Really, really simple. And a good way to know if you've got it configured right or not is the Xbox light. If you don't get the green light, you don't have the DirectX installed correctly. But now that this is installed, I can completely free wheel the machine, which is, which is really, really nice. So I can bring that Z up and down, I did left and right, up and down for Z, so two different speeds. And then the, the uh, right stick I put uh, on the X and the Y. So stick left, left and right, and then backwards and forwards is the X. I'm sorry, the, uh, the, the Y. So the Y is backwards and forwards, the X is left and right. So pretty cool. So now I can actually freewheel this and use the Xbox controller. So if I just want to jump on this thing real quick and use this as a drill press or just hog out something real quick, I can now do it. Just throw something on the clamp, fire it up, and there she goes. So done. I'm going to adjust the speeds a little bit so I can actually do these a little bit quicker. But you get the idea. Pretty cool. Using an old Xbox 360 controller, hardwired, USB. So, and, uh, it, it runs, which is really, really slick. I like that a lot. So, cool.